The Cardinals have a big hole to climb out of, and they're doing their best to climb. I'm joined by the GM, Michael Gurr. So we've talked in the past when things weren't going well, tough to identify one issue. Now that things are going well, what flipped the switch? Um, I, I think you're right. There's no one thing to, uh, to point to. I think um, that last game of the, our previous homestand against the Tigers, was we broke our losing streak. Uh, Gold hit three home runs. Um, I think some of it is just feeling good about that 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 things are going to work out, right? We were in a rut where everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and every day we were like waiting for the, you know, the black cat to walk out or whatever. And uh, and once things started going better, the the attitude, the the um, expectations that we we can do this started being more in a positive direction. Our offense has been great, uh, scoring a lot of runs. That makes things a lot easier, and uh, we just kind of playing the way we were expecting to play the whole year. So and the black cat has been vanquished. So. The starting rotation a bit better, still some issues there. Where's the rotation right now in your view? No, I think that's fair. I think um, we, we, you know, th- things could be better in the rotation. Uh, we, we'd like to get guys going deeper into games. Um, helps a bullpen, obviously. Um, but, you know, given the way that we're hitting and the defense that we're playing right now, uh, you know, just keeping us in it is, is, uh, has been working out fine. So um, still hopeful that we can, you know, get some guys going a little bit, uh, get some guys back on track. Like Jordan had started out the year great and has been a little bit, uh, Montgomery's been a little bit um, in a bit of a rut the last few outings. So uh, still still hoping to get things going a little bit better than they have been. But, you know, the main thing is just keep us in the game. Keep us in the game into the, into the you know, fifth or sixth inning. Our bullpen's been strong. The offense's been strong. And so, you know, it's been effective for the last couple weeks. Jordan Walker was sent down with a mission to – lift his swing and to optimize his power to get the ball in the air a little bit more he's homered in two of his last four games hitting 361 over his last eight games is he doing what you sent him down to do yeah i think jordan's been working through some stuff and i think you know the report's generally been positive that that the making some changes i think you know three games samples or eight game samples aren't you know the world's largest uh, sample of of whether the changes have sort of settled in or not but he's he's certainly working hard i mean one of the reasons we talked about you know even before in spring training just his attitude his aptitude for learning his willingness to to, to work hard at his craft all those things are paying off when you when you start you know trying to make small tweaks to to your swing to improve it so uh, it's great to see that he's starting to like take off he had struggled a little bit when we first went down so it's great to see him starting to uh, to hit like we know he can and uh, hopefully he can keep it up you guys are watching him. Is he getting closer to a return, possibly? Yeah, I mean, yeah. All, all Certainly playing better helps, right? So uh, moving in the right direction, everything's going well. Uh, exactly how and when that happens is obviously to be determined. Dylan Carlson on the IL with an ankle. I think he's eligible to come off tomorrow. What's his status? He, he won't be coming off uh, when he's first eligible. He's still uh, – he's been – Doing, starting to do baseball activities again. Um, we'll sort of have to see how that quickly that progresses and whether or not we feel like a, a, a short rehab assignment makes sense. But uh, it won't be in the next you know 48 hours, but it also we are hopeful it won't be too much longer. Tyler O'Neill dealing with, with a back issue, more serious, I think, than anyone really anticipated. So what's going on with uh, Tyler O'Neill? Yeah, it's sort of, again, more serious, like you said. We, we've had this sort of restart or, or sh- shut him back down kind of and, and re- reassess the situation before we progress baseball activities again. So he's a little bit in a lull here where we, uh, we know we, we've sort of shut down all the, the progress as we try to figure out exactly what makes sense to do next. So, you know, we thought we had a good path. We started ramping him back up and, it, and, and have had a little bit of a setback here. So um, it's a little hard to determine exactly what the timeline looks like at the moment because we don't really know what we're dealing with yet. Um, but it's it's certainly been dragged out longer than any of us had hoped. Is he still shut down right now? Yeah, he's he's in the process of sort of being reassessed again to figure out how we want to progress so that we don't hit the same wall, you know, in another 10 days. Always a pleasure, Michael. We appreciate the time. Thanks, Kat. All right, that's the GM, Michael Gersh. We send it back to you.